Hello, this is Mr. Jairo. Welcome to yet another epic video. And this is the eighth video of ICT application. And we'll be looking at the expert system. Okay. The first thing we have to realize is what is an expert system. And then again, we, we try to get to know areas in which um, this expert system can be implemented. The first thing is expert systems are used to provide expert opinions okay without the need for the expert by using a system allowing the user to query the knowledge base to find solutions to their problem okay that is what an expert system is all about they provide expert solutions um, without the need of actually consulting um this expert now, these expert systems have been developed to mimic the expertise and knowledge of an expert in a particular field, okay? That is what the system does. It's developed to, to be like the person, but it's, a, but it's a, a machine, right? Just like an ATM, right? It's trying to be like a bank that works 24 hours, like a human being that will actually pay you money, collect money from you, um, carry out transactions 24 hours, but instead of a person, it has been replaced with a machine. So, invariably, um, the expertise in depositing, in withdrawing, have put his or her knowledge base into that system in such a way that human beings can actually now use it to can, can now interact with the system and they can be able to perform transactions. The same way. When it comes to the medical field. So these examples of expert systems are diagnosing a person's illness, um, diagnostics, talking about uh, finding fault in car engine, finding fault on a circuit board. Um, we have tax and financial calculations, um, identification of plants, animals, and uh, chemical um, compounds. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead. Okay. So let's see. Um, the components of an expert system. It's important that we know um, the components of an expert system. Okay, so let's look at it. The diagram, this is the diagram which goes, we have the user interface, uh, the inference engine, and of course we have the knowledge base, um, something like this, um, the knowledge base, then we have the rule base, and of course um, the explanation system. So this is a typical makeup of an expert system. Now, let's look at the advantages of an expert system. Um, they offer high level of expertise. Um, they offer high accuracy. The results are consistent. They have the ability to store vast amount of ideas. And, in fact, this is quite simple, which I've explained in class. It is possible for an expert to have multiple types of expertise. Yes, it's possible. An expert system can have multiple people who are professionals giving their ideas into the system. And that's a good advantage, okay? Um, it offers a very fast response time. Whenever you go to the ATM, instant, you've been, you've been, you've, you've been paid instantly. We don't have to wait for human to actually count the money. I want to withdraw 30,000. They will bring out, they will count it for you. And before they will check it, do this, debit you before uh, you've been given your money. The moment you, the money is being um, taken out from the machine, you have been debited immediately, okay? It doesn't go without some disadvantages because the use of expert systems need considerably training, right? In it is use, right? You have to train people or uh, train your personnel on how to use this machine and train users on how they can use this machine to get the answers that they want, right? The setup and maintenance costs are very, very high, okay? And they tend to give very good response. If you have money, you have money. If you have illness, it gives it, it, it goes straight to the point of what is wrong with you. If they don't it doesn't sugarcoat it because it's a system. Right? Um the the information is only as good um as what is being uh, sent to the system. And that is why uh, if it's a bad information, definitely you're gonna get a bad result. Okay. Um of course, uh users sometimes make the very dangerous assumption that they are infallible and that can be a disadvantage as well. So let's let explain the components. The user interface, um, inference engine, 
the knowledge base and likes of that. Now for the user interface, we see that is a method by which the expert system interacts with the user. Right, it allows interaction to dialog buses, um, command prompt or other what input what methods. Okay. The question being asked usually have yes or no. Okay, and are based on the response to previous word. Questions. Okay. Explanation system. This informs the users of what reasoning behind the expert systems, okay? The conclusions and recommended what actions. For example, suppose the user was investigating a series of symptoms, the patient and the expert and the expert system is a diagnosis of equine poison. Uh, the explanation system will explain its reason with a statement such as impaired vision, lack of coordination, weak muscle, um, um, slow speech, and the patient would um, use to work in a paint factory and the user could then probe deeper if necessary. The expert system of course supply a conclusion and any suggestion, suggested actions to take. The important thing um, it gives is the percentage probability of the accuracy. Um, how, how accurate is this result? It tells you it's 65% accurate, 75% accurate, and you know by the level of what accuracy. If first engine, on the other hand, acts like a search engine, okay, of, okay, and is responsible for gathering information from the user by asking a series of what questions. And of course, the infrared engine is a problem solving part of the expert system, okay. Um, because the knowledge base is a collection of objects and the attributes, the, the inference engine attempts to use this information gathered from users to find the object that matches. We have the knowledge base, which is um, um, an offset of facts, and it stores all the knowledge about areas of experts obtained from a number of expert word resources. That way, it is not being designed to allow complex storage and retrieval uh, requirement of a computerized knowledge base management system. Okay. Um, the rule base, on the other hand, the rules base is not more, not more of like setting up a series of inference rules. If a country is South Africa or South America, then and the language used is Portuguese, then that country must be Brazil. Kind of like that, the rule. Right? And um, this defense rule are used by the inference engine to draw what conclusions. Okay? They closely follow humans like reasoning. Yeah, they're closely followed by human word reasoning. So that is a diagnosis, okay? Explanation system will explain how um, that particular diagnosis was suggested. Interactive screen asks series of questions for you to, to for for um for the system to be able to diagnose what's actually wrong with you. That series of questions, the inference engine will compare that symptom with the knowledge base, right? Using the rule base to find the matches. The system suggests the possible illness with the probability of each cure and recommendation for the next step to be taken. Okay, and. Uh, Um, what other thing am I missing? Yes, um, setting up an expert system. How do we set up um, an expert system? So let's look at it. One, the first one is information needs to be gathered from human experts or from written sources such as what test books, research paper, or the internet. Um, information gathered is used to populate the knowledge base. It should be first created. So the first one, information is gathered, um, a knowledge base has to be created. We should now populate the system. The rule base needs to be created, and this is made up of series of what inference rules. Okay, inference rule. So the inference engine can draw what conclusions. The inference engine itself needs to be set up, right? And it's a complex system since it is the main processing element. Okay, um, the, the user interface needs to, to be developed as well. To allow you that to be able to interact with the system and once they be set up uh, it needs to be fully tested as well okay 
Um, there's an example here that said um, users giving an input to this, um, giving um, the system interacting with the user, the SPA system running those diagnoses or taking the user's input and giving a, a possible solution right there at the output screen. So I think this one will call it to close. We have others like OS uh, perspe uh, perspective. Um, now that talks about, um, of course, th that's another example which the system can be uh, developed. Questions are asked about the geographical profile, and of course, you can be able to know where you can drill your oil. And um, we have route scheduling for delivering vehicles as well. Shows you the route, number of drop-off points, their location, distance between the drop-off drop points, the type of vehicle you use, delivering time expected at each drop-off point, and the layout of the road network. So thank you so much for tuning in to SPAT system. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.